Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you so so much for watching. My lovely friend Rita here on YouTube asked if I would be interested in doing a collab with her and she had the idea of doing a get ready with me so we thought of doing something involving spring greens. So this is the look I came up with. As you can see it's not just greens. I did a look that sort of spring green and sweet peach inspired. Um, I have been really loving mixing color combinations together so I had a lot of fun with sort of the, the orangey peaches and then the green on the bottom. I also thought that I would take this opportunity to try a different format so make sure you guys let me know what you think about that. Make sure you check out Rita's channel and her video. I'll have all that linked down below. She's a fellow project panner and she is amazing. So I highly, highly suggest that you go check out her channel and her get ready with me as well. Um, thank you so much and let's dive in to the look. Okay, there I am, bare-faced. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Complexion Primer from my hashtag 365 Days of Samples Challenge. Just applying that normally, patting it in places I need it. Going in with the NYX Color Correcting Concealer Palette using the green on various spots on my face. I have a psoriasis patch on my forehead, on the side of my nose, and then I'm going to put a little bit on my chin because I have a little bit of scarring. I'm using the pink shade from that concealer palette underneath my eyes. I find that it helps to brighten up my eyes just a little bit. Then I'm going in with the Naked Skin Foundation because I thought that I would try that out with the primer and I'm using it on a Real Techniques buffing brush which is one of my favorite ways to apply foundation. And I've got to say I really really like the primer. Then I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion of course I love that thing. Um, I'm also using it up in my eyebrows as well. It's a trick I picked up from someone who works at MAC. Then to set that I'm going in with the Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced. Yes, I did buy it. It's right up my alley. I'm just setting the primer with the shade White Peach. Normally I wouldn't go in with something quite so white. I would go with something more similar to my skin tone, but I wanted to use the palette. Okay, then I just brushed out my brows and I'm going in with Benefit's Gimme Brow in Medium Deep to help set up my brows. I don't have the best brows, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time going over my brow stuff. Going in with the Brow Wiz just to help fill in a tiny bit. I'm also just trying to use up the Brow Wiz because I want to get a darker eyebrow pencil. Then after I finish that, I'm going in with the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow the thing everybody uses. I like it for filling in brows. There I am singing along to something. Now my brows were a little bit messy so I'm going in with that concealer palette from Makeup Forever and an angled concealer brush just to clean up my brows a little bit and I was using the lightest concealer shade which you could see a lot of pan on. So that's the look so far. Then finally the eyeshadow stuff, the Sweet Peach palette. I am going in with the shade Peaches and Cream in my crease on a 217 brush from MAC. So I'm just buffing that in. It's just going to be a lot of blending and buffing. This is the first time I was using this palette as well. So then I'm going in with the shade Georgia from the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Just doing the exact same thing. I'm going to be doing the exact same thing, layering all of these shades. I'm going with puree, Just focusing a little bit more on the outer crease than the inner. And then the shade Summer Yum, which I absolutely fell in love with while using it. And then I had to like put it all over my face. I was like, oh my god, I love it. Such a beautiful shade. Then on a flat MAC brush, I'll have everything listed in the description box down below, I am using the shade Candied Peach all over my lid, pressing that in. I find that the sparkle really didn't transfer very well. Then I'm going in with the shade Just Peachy. I used a lot of shades from this palette. I didn't necessarily need to, but I was having fun playing around with it. And then I wanted a little bit more pinkness, so I went in with the shade Bellini. Again, just all over my lid, cleaning up a little bit on the sides. Now I'm going in with my Urban Decay Concealer in Fair Neutral. I'm going to put that under my eyes, on that psoriasis patch, as well as on my chin. I'm going to use a beauty blender to help blend that all together. 
I like to do my make sure my under eye concealer is done before I go in with any shadows or things I'm going to put on my bottom lash line. So I'm just setting that with powder from the Kat Von D shade and light palette. Then I'm taking an Urban Decay 24-7 um, eyeliner and this is the shade Mars. I don't have a lot of green eyeliners, a lot of bright greens. Then I'm using the Vice 4 and I love the shade Grasshopper. I really wanted an eyeliner that was more vibrant than Mars, but I didn't have one. So I just thought that I would use Mars and then layer Grasshopper on top. And I'm using the brush from the Urban Decay Electric Palette because I like um, the fineness of the, the one side of it. I find that it's really easy to apply shadows on the lower lash line and I'm also decided to go in with a little bit of the shadow up in my upper waterline that wasn't working so well so then I decided to go in with Mars first. Lovely faces there. Then I'm going with the shade C Note from the Vice 4 palette just to brighten up a little bit. I liked the combination of Grasshopper and C Note. I found that it made this really beautiful co um, combination. Then I'm using a little bit of uh, a shadow from the Sweet Peach palette to help blend out the greens. Then I'm using my lash primer to coat my lashes. I am coating the other side of my lashes as you saw there as well. I find that it works to make my lashes look a little bit more voluminous. And I'm using uh, a Marc Jacobs mascara sample. Then to highlight I am using Pearl from the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to put that on my brow bone as well as the inner corner of my eye using this fantastic detail brush from Sonia Kashuk. So that's the look so far. Then quickly the rest of my face. A little bit of contouring from the Shade and Light palette. I love this palette. It works so so well. And it's really really easy. Then I'm using Peaches, the blush from MAC. I thought that was very appropriate for the look. So I'm just putting a little bit of peaches. I'm not going too crazy with it. And then for highlight, I'm mixing Pearl and Champagne Pop on a fan brush from EcoTools. Then I'm setting all that with the Fix Plus Spray from MAC. And then I'm going in with a little bit of Noble, which is a liquid lipstick from Kat Von D. And I'm actually going to use my finger here to apply it so it's not super intense. I like the way that that applies with the finger. Then I'm going in with a Dior Addict Lip Gloss. This is the shade 333. I believe it was limited edition. I just saw it sitting on my vanity and I was like, this look calls out for this shade. Then to set everything, I go in with some Urban Decay All Nighter so my makeup will stay forever. Really, it will stay forever. So that is the final look. I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.